Today's tutorial will be showing you how to uh, do stop and continue action in Sequencer. As you can see from the demo here, we've stopped it and then when we start up we're in slow motion and this can be used for action scenes if you want to take the camera around and show different angles uh, during a freeze frame. First thing we need to do is put our mannequin actor in. And then I'm using this animation called Close Combat Animation Set. I think it's free or it's very low cost, and you, but you can use whatever animation you want. Then we'll create a sequence. We'll call this sequence Freeze 1. Save it. And now we have a sequence and an actor. Now we right click and pull the actor down into the sequence. We'll put a camera in place, set the camera up where you want to start the action, and then later on we'll move the camera around the action. But I'm going to put him a little bit to the right because he's going to do a backflip and I'll need that extra room to, uh, to show the whole, all of the motion. So I'll set the camera. I use DLSR and 50 millimeter for this one, and then we'll do the focus. Get our actor in focus. Okay. Next thing we have to do is add the animation because you can see if we play it right now, there's no animation, obviously. So we go down to the mannequin, and I picked this backflip. And if we play the backflip, we'll see he's just standard motion. And you notice he jumps back. To the original position. Well, to get him to keep the state, we go over to when finished, instead of project default, we put in keep state. Now you'll see the difference here. When we flip now, he stays put, which is important for a freeze frame. We don't want it jumping back to the original position at the end. So you can see he does the flip and then he stays put at the end of the action. So now what we're going to do is we're going to split the section of the animation. So we hit split section and then we pull it down to where we want it. In this case, I want more than a few seconds. So I'm going to change um, the end of the sequence out to about 25 seconds or so. And I, one thing you need to know is you got to put show time as seconds because it comes up default is frames and I always like to use seconds. Okay, so now if we run it, we can see stops and then he continues in place and then stops again. So now we're going to take it all the way out because we want a longer freeze frame because we want to have the camera rotate around uh, the actor. Okay, so next step is to move your camera around. You move your camera around. In this case, I use um, uh, right click and A to move my camera. But you can use, if you're familiar with how to move the camera, you can move it anywhere you want. You can put rails. I'm just trying to make it simple. So now we go out to where we restart the action at the end of the freeze frame. And we'll take the camera with a right click and right click and control, or right click and A, and we move him around to where we want the final part of the action to be shown. In this case, I want to look at the end, and then I hit uh, right click S to move it back. Then, if we take a look at it, we can see we run the action now. Oops, I forgot a step. Okay, so let's go do this again. Uh, I need to, at the end of my camera action, I need to put a transform key. Otherwise, the camera will stay where I originally put the transform. So you need a transform key at the beginning when you do the first shot, and then you, wherever you move it, you have to go down uh, into the camera transform and set another key. So in this case, 
we're going to go to the camera component, transform, and then you can see the first key. Now we go down to the end of the action and we put our cursor and then we come back over and we hit the transform. So now you see the two keys, one key for the beginning of the action, the other key for the end of the action. Now when you play it, he'll freeze, then your camera moves around and goes to where your end key is on the camera. So this gives you a, a little freeze frame so you can get some nice action shots there. So now there's another thing I'm going to add because right now you can see come, when he comes in he's at the normal speed. I'm going to slow down the action at the end by opening up and editing or excuse me properties and I'm going to go to the play rate and I'm going to set the play rate instead of 100% which is 1 I'm going to put it to 20% which is 0 0.2 now when I go back and play it, you notice that we've got a longer time frame in there, which basically means it slowed down the action. So you just see camera goes around, moves back a little bit, and then when the action starts, it's going to be slow motion. So I hope this helps um, in your freeze frame work. This is a very basic beginner tutorial, and that's it.